y'all welcome to my channel my name is kimmy if you're new here today we are doing day 67 paired build for this week's cast if you missed the cast video i'll put it up in the right hand corner that has three bedrooms and at least two bathrooms for a family that had a tragic ending if you guys have not seen the cast videos i will not spoil it too much for you but we will say this that we are left now with a teen and her siblings because parents had gotten into a car accident on the way to the older teen's house on the way to the older teen's school for her cheerleading competition and and doing so resulted their death so she only found out when she came home from school and the cops told her her parents had died in a car accident now she's left to raise two siblings on a teen salary she's taking school half time and working the other half so just to help raise the children until they're teenagers so where they can get a job as well. So that said, we are going to jump right into our speed build. And I hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos. Let me know in the comments your favorite kind of video you want to see. And or build videos you'd like to see. And I'll put that into my list. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. If I am pausing at any moment in any of my videos, please note that I am looking at references and or floor plan and or backgrounds or etc. So please keep that in mind. And let's get started. completely finished now thank god it took me two days to do this so i forgive me if any skips are in here but this is the outside of the house i wanted to embrace the child vibe in here so my window keeps glitching and it's quite annoying but um a lot of windows they're all weirdly placed but i didn't do it by the outside i wanted to focus on the inside of the house so it looks 
really crappy on the outside with the windows but the inside looks really good so you'll see why i did it but here's the outside in the backyard it's got a little child area for monkey bars a swimming pool for the teen some lounges for the parents to watch the kids and family time is sitting at the table and around the corner here has our trash can so you guys won't at me for it <laughs> and then if we go into the front we're gonna do the tour as always when it comes to this build so let's go right into the tour mode all right so as you walk through the front door you notice that there's a tan white gray and black theme in here so i want to make the parents very simple ignore the bushes i will fix that before i upload it to the gallery but this is going to be the foyer room or the entryway over here these are proud parents of their kids they are like at home workers so one is a guitarist music person and the other one is a knitting crafting painting type person so they had they're very proud of their children with all their achievements you got a very basic living room here i didn't want to do anything fancy in here they got a beautiful ceiling up in there you know gorgeous simple really cute simple kitchen nothing fancy nothing too crazy in here then you go to this door over here and you get the main area bathroom it's got the wash machine and everything else in here i was trying to put up a shower curtain like rod up here but it just wouldn't work with me so ignore that imagine that with like a pretend shower curtain okay <laughs> and out here we got the next bedroom which is by the front door and that is the parents bedroom i thought okay if you have a light it just doesn't look like it but this is the dad side. He is into music. He plays for tips. He likes to play in bands. He loves rock star music. Over here, we have a collection of things that the parents like to collect. All this is very important for the children's room. So just make sure you pay attention to this room. Uh, we have some Star Wars stuff, a cap, snow globes, makeup, bonsai tree. You know drinks and stuff down here is all of the trophies they like to display it in their rooms now my idea is that the middle trophy is a cheerleading trophy that can be for their teenage daughter the chef's club i was thinking more along the lines of the dad or mom and computer programming as well and then the soccer and football is for their son over here we have mom's little area she loves to knit things she has make different kinds of turtles and she loves to make octopuses and or octopi whatever whatever you guys want to call it the correct terminology for it and she also makes penguins and before her death she had created this little grim reaper if she knew her time was coming or something so there's that through here you got mom's or dad's uh robe here you go through here and you got mom's row back here and this is their bathroom their little ensuite very simple very cute very fancy <laughs> and now we're gonna go upstairs as you come up the stairs you are greeted by a wall and some bookshelf chair and a movie poster that they like now there is three doors currently to this landing the first door here is a main guest bath kind of vibe mostly this would be for the teen to use when she's here through here through this room is the teen's bedroom i made it very simple i am obsessed with this room honestly this would be my vibe of a room i'm not even joking i like dark rooms <laughs> i don't like the boring white plain jane room but this is her cheerleading section over here now if you notice in this in this particular thing she has a little turtle some mom's makeup she has some i'm pretending it's gonna be like her mom's picture and her dad one of her dad's helmets so basically when they died she took some of the items to put in her room to remember them by over here she has a ballerina her mom gave her when she was younger and postcards from all the places they visited and on this side she got a copy of one of her dad's favorite guitars and she has a guitar in her room that she loves to listen to because it reminds her of her father and the yoga is when her mom and her would go to yoga together so she keeps it in her room to remind her of all the good times they had and then you go through the room on the end of the hallway 
once you walk into this room, you get greeted by a lot. This is the first room I did, and I'm obsessed with this room. I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm a little biased. So you walk in the front door, and you get greeted with the red and black side. This would be Grayson's side of his room. He collects a snow globe with dad stuff over here. He got a picture of pretending that it's a picture of his team, and his dad's like the coach or something. His little trophies he won, stuff that his father has collected, his father's watch, his hat, etc. And then over here, we have his dad's perfume. Maybe this is an animal they caught together, the prey and mantis. And we have this because he, he's a lot angry now since he lost his father at a young age. That he takes his anger out on the punching bag, which is sort of healthy and unhealthy, but... Then you go over here, this is where everything like breaks loose. <laughs> this is one of his dad's little trophies and books and stuff for the kids. All those stuff they go for the postcards and all that good jazz over here. Same thing on this side. She had a bonsai tree like her mom. But they did that together. They went to a store together for it. Over here is Annalise's side. She's into the makeup side of life. She got her mom's jewelry, her makeup. This little toy that her mom made her. And over here is a picture of her mom. Snow globes they got together when they went out. And Annalise has a little of the dark side. Because she has more of the magic side. She wants to be a witch. To try to bring her parents back to life. So she has a little globe down here. And a hand. She's a very sad girl. Which I don't blame her. Then through here is their shared bathroom. I try to play with the colors a little bit. It's very simple, but very boring. And then through here is their, like, walk-in closet. But that is it, you guys. That is the entire house. Let me give you a little bird's-eye view here. So we have, this is open to the downstairs. And we have the teen's room, the twins' room, two bathrooms up here. And then downstairs you have one main room, the ensuite, a hall bath living kitchen dining area and outside is the pool and everything else so with that said let me know in the comments what you guys think i am obsessed with this build it took me two days to do so again forgive any skipping in the video or wrong positions or whatever i am very happy about this one i did a great job in my opinion but your opinion matters most to me so what do y'all think and with that said i will see you guys later bye